Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how you can install an animated counter on your Squarespace website using an Elf Site plugin. Now I have an affiliate link listed below that will take you to that Elf Site plugin, so thank you in advance for your support, but we're gonna go ahead and hop on into Elf Site, so I'll show you how to pull that plugin information and then we'll hop into Squarespace and I'll show you how to install it step by super simple step. You ready to get started? Let's do it. So here we are checking out the number counter widget at Elf Site. I have this linked in the description below. I'm going to select Create Widget, and if we scroll down a little bit, we'll be able to pick a template to start with. Now, just like Squarespace, all of these can do the exact same thing. They just have different setup options enabled. Oops, scrolled up too high. There we go. So if you want to pick a template that starts with some icons uh, like this example here, but later you change your mind and want to go to solid numbers like this one, Totally possible. They can all do the same thing. So let's go ahead and start with this one and we'll select continue with this template. Now, right away, we're going to be taking the content management tab. I'm going to scroll up a little bit so we can see all this magic happening here. If we click 10,000 served, this is where we can change the number. Maybe it's just 800 and maybe instead of customers that we have served, it's cups of coffee we had today. Okay. That's a lot of coffee, but stick with me here. That's how you can change that. Now for the icon, click on the icon and choose from their library or upload your own. They have a ton available in their database right here. You'll see we've got the solid outline ones. We have some filled in ones, lots of fun options to choose from. We'll go ahead and pick this coffee cup. All right, we'll select done. Now that you understand how to change the icon, the number and the caption, I forgot to mention we've got prefix and postfix. This is text that shows up before the number or text that shows up after. Like if I wanna say 800 cups of coffee we had, how about we make that this year? So it's a little less intimidating of a number. So there we go. Now at the very bottom underneath icon, we have the option to change the link. If you want this to link to a specific page on your site, you can add that right here. A great example would be linking to a client portfolio. Let's say you've built 42 websites. You can change this number to say 42 and instead of postfix cups, we can say websites and for the caption created with Squarespace. Oh my gosh. And that's spelled wrong. Let's fix that. There we go. Now let's go ahead and change this icon. We'll choose room from the library. Scrolling down here. How about a rocket ship? I love it. Let's go with that one. Now, if I want to link to my portfolio, I can add that link right here. And custom color is also an option. You can change the individual element, changing its color right here. Now you can pick one from this custom color palette or click on this icon and enter your own hex color code or select a color from the color picker. I'm going to pick one of my favorite shades of gray. There we go. And we're good to go. Now that you understand how to edit the content, I do want to mention you can add a title to it. You can call it anything you want or just remove that text if you don't want it. And you can add and remove counters over here. Now layout, style and settings. Those are three other options we're going to check out. I'll click on layout, and this is where we change the number of columns, space between the counters, and check it out, mobile settings. That's right, we can adjust tablet and phone as well. Right now I have it set to one column on mobile, two on tablet, and three on desktop. So let's click this icon to see the mobile preview. That's what it looks like on mobile. Let's change the space on mobile. I'm going to adjust this up to 30. There we go. I like the look of that. All right, let's go back to desktop. Down here, we have counter elements layout. We've got the left hand side here or left align, I should say center. And then this will move the icon to the left of the text. Another option to play around with now into our style menu. This is where we can give a background, have it either be a solid color or an image. You can upload your own image by selecting add, or you can give it its own color by clicking one from the palette or selecting this dropper icon and adding your own. Let's do one of my favorite shades of light blue. There we go. Now, if we hop back here, you can also change the numbers, the caption, the icon background, the icon itself, counter background color as well. That's set to none. If we change this to maybe white, for example, it'll give a unique background, almost like a card in a list section in Squarespace. Lots of fun options there to play around with. But there's a little bit more we can do. Scrolling down here, we can actually customize the font or have it match the font on our website. I use pop-ins for all of the fonts on my Squarespace sites, so I'm going to leave it there. But if you click this down, you've got some fonts to choose from if you want to get a little creative. 
After that, we've got the number format. I have it set to bold and 48 PX, but we can change that to like 30 if we want to, or clicking this option and we can make it title case, lowercase or uppercase. Kind of cool. I'll leave that as default. For the caption, we can change the font size as well, maybe making a little bit larger or a lot smaller than what we have for the number font, lots of options. And then down here, we've got a slider for the icon size, making it gigantic or not so big. Now for mobile, we're gonna have the same options for changing sizes there, which I think is great. Don't forget, we've got tablet on the top and phone on the bottom. If we click on the mobile preview here, we can see, hey, maybe those icons should be smaller, but the caption should be bigger and the numbers should be a lot bigger. You've got all kinds of options specifically for mobile devices. Again, tablet and then phone. Let's go back to the desktop preview and hop back here. Scrolling down, we've got one option for custom CSS, but we're not going to touch that today. This is just a basic tutorial on this main timer here. So let's take a look at our settings. Last but not least, for animation speed, we can change that to maybe four or five if you want to take a long time to count to the highest number that it's displaying, or maybe just two if you want to be super fast. For the number format, you can have a comma, dot, space, or none. And then for the decimal, we've got dot or comma. When you're all done customizing, click on Add to Website. Here you can select Copy Code, and we'll hop on over to Squarespace. Now I'm going to go into Edit Mode. I am using version 7.1, but all we're going to do is add this to a code block so it'll work for any version. Scrolling down here, this is our checklist today. We created the widget, we customized the content, we copied the code, so now we need to add the code block, paste the code, and save our work. So scrolling down to this section, I'm just going to add a code block here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stretch this to be almost full width here, just to make sure we've got enough room for the widget. Now, if I double click on this, I can paste the code right here. Now we can see the animated counter widget inside Squarespace. Pretty awesome, right? Now we do have this option down here where we've got the Elf Site logo that says free number counter widget. If you wanna remove that, go back to Elf Site and you can actually subscribe to one of their plans here. Single app or 64 apps pack, whatever you select, use the code inside the square, that's gonna get you 25% off. Yep, inside the square. That'll get you 25% off any of your Elf Site plugins or the apps pack. Alrighty, a link to that animated counter plugin is listed in the description below. And again, that's an affiliate link. So I'll get a small commission if you purchase the plugin through my affiliate link. So thanks in advance for your support. I appreciate it. If you have any questions about installing this plugin on your site, feel free to post them in the comments or email me anytime, support at insidethesquare.co. Now I have a few more tutorials here on my YouTube channel about Elf Site plugins. So definitely check out the related videos and to learn more about all the amazing things you can do with Squarespace, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week. Thanks so much for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. To learn more about all the cool things you can do with Squarespace, head on over to insidethesquare.co. There you'll find hundreds of free tutorials just like this one. That's insidethesquare.co.